and welcome to Ron's show. Now this next masterpiece that I'll be performing is I'm going to demonstrate in cutting this. And this is part two of cutting these 45s on the pipe work. So anyway, I know this is a lot of work. It's, 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 it's probably a bit messy, uh, the system I'm using and very slow. Uh, it's not as if I do a lot of this type of work, so uh, I'm sure I can devise a more efficient method um, down the track. So uh, for the time being, um, I will do it this way. It means that I can clamp all these things together and like I mentioned, um, picking the center line so that you, you're always gonna have the 45s cut because I thought you have to have these centralized. So I use the square tubing, like I said, um, on my earlier videos. So I'll just recap. Um, cutting on the 45 wherever you clamp it down, as long as it's in the same spot, and the main thing that you need to do is make sure that your um, cuts are going to be the same size to what your um, your project, whatever it is. Um, I might be a few mils out on what I want uh, want to achieve. Uh, I can always tweak tweak it up once I got all my cuts done. And uh, the other thing I'd like to mention is as long as the pipes that you're cutting are all going to be the same sizes say for instance the verticals and i mean the the verticals like these ones and then the ones going across whichever way you decide to make your um uh, your whatever you're making anyway so anyway what i do is i'm going to put off on my protective gear and i'm going to run that through so uh bear with me i'm going to um put the camera in the spot where you're going to see nothing for me and I'll get all my gear on first I've got to put on my eye glasses my ear protection safety glass and then somehow I have to try to do this so pick up the machine and here we go so here we go. Oh, I'm going to nick that corner, aren't I? Ah, oh, I just nicked that corner, darn it. Anyway, here we go. What happened is I have to lift that guard up. Okay. What's happening is Because I'm doing it one hand, I'm uh, jamming a little bit. Do you see, that's where my last cut. See, I just touched that one. See, just a little touch there. And uh, that's coming off fine. But that's all I can do. I've got to use two hands, really, because it was just jamming up. Because what's happened is this piece here, I'll just put this down. This piece here is slightly higher than that. So then it's running across there, and that's the reason. If I had two hands, I could just lift it up, but I, I want to get that consistent mark. So let's see how well I've done on that end piece, whether it's going to be my desired um, size. It looks it looks pretty well. It's, it's, it's within, you can see that mark there, that's my desired mark. I'll just take my glove off. Uh, I'll just hold it one hand. See, that's... Oh, wait a minute. So, I'll use a pencil because the steel might be sharp. I don't want to cut my hand. So, here, that's my mark. Whoop. So, that's my mark here, down there. And 
that's the mark there. So I'll take my gloves off, take my earmuffs off, I'll use this again. So in fact, that's um, that's basically this is the point where I want to be. Wait a minute, where am I? That's the point I want to be, and that's that's pretty well. That's pretty well where I want it anyway. So because I, I use that center line here on there and that's if you look back here that's the point I wanted to be on the further side of that pencil line so it's I want to get these things within the millimeter that's that's my purposes to to do that and I think I've achieved that and like I said this one needed this one was running across here so then it, it was riding up on there uh, I could have stabilised a little bit because using one hand I, I would have kept that base plate the same level as that so then when you run it across it'll cut and I think that's the reason it was just binding a little bit on there. These saws are really good because they, they would stop, they uh, won't allow you to jam it so they're not a bad, um, not a bad system and this, this tubing is it's hard to tell but it, it looks to me that it's only about 2 mil. I don't even know if it's 2 mil thick so it's going to be a bit fine welding it's not really that good but you know I might as well use it thank you very much and I do hope you enjoy so thank you very much